Ay. Le godon ke. Ah. Freshly baked. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> Every woman's dream. Look at me, bro. Wow. This is my time to cash out big. I have waited for this time. And the time is now. I'm just going there to sign and seal my deal. I have waited for this day. And the time is now. Hi. That girl is part of money. A gold. A hidden treasure. And I'm going all the way to get her. Once I do, I'll make her pay in foreign currency. She just gonna pay me because she hasn't no choice. Okay, but we'll first class option. Hey, a model. Should I get work? Should I get work? <laughs> I am going to amass so much wealth through this girl. And once that is done, finally. Ooh! I'll kick her out. I am a king. The smooth operator. Morning, mom. What exactly do you want, young man? Um, Chief, I love your daughter, Okwe, and I want to make her my wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, Chief. Is she aware that you are here for this reason? Not yet. I wanted to have the discussion with you first before walking up to her. <laughs> I don't have any role to play in this. She's my daughter, yes. But the decision to marry or not to marry is solely hers. I understand that, Chief. Mm -hmm. But you, you know... But uh, there's no but in this. I will advise you. Hmm? Walk up to the person you came to see. Okay? Right. And talk to her. Make your intention known to her. If she approves it, so be it. I'm okay. 
should I understand that to mean that you have given me your consent? So if I am able to get her, you would allow me to get married to her? No, please. Don't put words into my mouth. And don't bring me into this mission of yours here. At least not now. Hmm? I'm sorry about that. Uh, when we were growing up, when a young man sees a lady that he loves, he walks up to the lady and tells her how he feels about her. That's it. That is what I expected you to do. Instead of you coming here and having this discussion with me. No, no. I am sorry about that, Chief. I apologize. Uh, there's no problem. <laughs> no problem about that. <laughs> okay, Chief. Uh, I'd like to see your son, Chief, before uh, going to see Ukwe. Oh, uh, yes. okay. I don't have problem with that. So, I believe you know how to find him. So, <laughs> Thank you very much, Chief. All right. I really appreciate it. Thank you, young man. You're welcome. Ah, Chid. You're here. Yeah, so, how did it go? Um, it seems your father does not approve of my intentions. How do you mean? He was skeptical of the meeting. And I understand what that means. So, what are you trying to say right now? Honestly, I am, I am kind of discouraged. Listen, you don't have to be discouraged, okay? My father is only doing his job as a father. Ukwe has been with my father all her life, and there's this strong bond binding them together. Uh, you know, it was that same bond that held me the very first moment I met her. The very first day I set my eyes on her. Listen, I love Ukwe with everything in me. And my life will be fulfilled if I'll be let to make her my wife. Listen, <clears throat> I know you love my sister. Thank you very much. And I am solidly behind you on this. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Chip. Thank you, Chip. You're Thank welcome. you, Chip. Um, please, one more thing. Will it be possible to, to, see, to see Ukwe now? Sure. It's very possible. Ah. Let me quickly go in there to fix up a meeting between you and Ukwe through our chief protocol officer. Okay? Uh, it's okay. I'll be glad to have an interface with her. <laughs> we consider it done. <laughs> All right, bro. Just remain here while I go in there to fix the meeting. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, bro. I appreciate it. No problem. Such a good guy. <laughs> He's a good guy. I like him. Perfect in love. I guess the man is seeing me as a good digger. Well, he's at liberty to think and feel whichever way he feels. But the truth is that I have come with a very big straw to suck money from this family and there is nothing anyone is going to do about it. <laughs> You came right on time. I just finished eating. I believe you enjoyed your meal. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell the driver to get the car ready. We'll be out in two minutes. All right? Okay, ma'am, but you have a visitor. A visitor? Yes, ma'am. Oh, do I have an appointment with this visitor? No, ma'am. Glory, ma how many times will I tell you that if I don't have an appointment with the person, I can't see the person? I know this, Ma, but it was Ogachidi that scheduled it. He said it was so urgent. Urgent? Yes, ma'am. Ah, 
just as beauty as the morning star. Good morning, sir. Now, I have her exactly the way I want. At this point, success is inevitable. I just greeted you and you didn't respond. Oh, sorry. You know, I, I was blown away by your beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Glory. Yes, ma'am. Please leave us. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes. I was told you oh, wanted to see me. Can I sit down? Yeah, sure, sure. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I was told you wanted to see me. Yes. Okay. First off, I want to say sorry for disrupting your order today with an unshaded mutant. I was informed that you don't like that. And I promise it's not happening again. It's okay. Thanks Please for your understanding. Ahead. It's fine. I'll make it brief so that you go back to what you were doing. All right? It's fine because I have a meeting after this one. I want to make you my wife. Yes. Excuse me. You know, I've I've to sorry. I have to see that here. I <clears throat> I have taken my time to study you and I've come to a conclusion that you will make a perfect wife for me. I love you with everything in me and I will love and cherish you all the days of my life. I want us to grow old together. Loving you every passing moment. It's all I desire. And all I want you to say is yes. Evelyn, what is it? Can you tell me about this guy that is asking you out? What exactly do you want to know about him? What exactly does he want from you? <sighs> well, I didn't give him the chance to state his mind, so I won't be able to know exactly what he wants. Really? That's not a good thing to do now. It's a good thing to do for me because I am not interested. So let me tell you. This is not how to treat a guy. Hm. You should have at least hear him out. There is no need hearing me out. There is absolutely no need for it. You think so, Abby? I know so. Because once he finds out about my condition, he will definitely leave. <laughs> condition? See, eh? The way you're going about this your condition as if it's a stigma. I don't like it, though. It is. It's a very big stigma at that. And he will definitely leave once he finds out. Please, I'm not in for this discussion. Eh, yeah. that's what you believe, oh. I know so. Okay. Eh, hey, just tell me anything now. Like, what did he tell you now? Can you just stop? I said I'm not in for this discussion. Please, I don't want to get angry. It's okay. Am I not your friend again? Tell me now. Please, how well do you know this Ugo Chinyere? Father, I may not say I know him too well because um, it is legally not advised to say that. But I will say I know him to a significant extent. Mm. Yes, Dad. Please, can you tell me everything you know about him? Father, Ugo Chinyureze is a hardworking guy who has made money to keep himself comfortably in this country where people are finding it very difficult to establish on. Above all that, he is a loving fellow who has great plans for the future. Mm. Yes, Dad. <laughs> All you've just said now is directly opposite of how I see him. How do you mean that? I see him a gold digger who has come to exploit not only your sister, 
but the entire family in the name of marriage. You see, he visibly struggled to impress. And once people struggle to impress, then it's not coming from their spirit being. A man of my exposure cannot be cajoled into believing such an individual, no. Far from me, Dad. Ugo Chinyere is that I know loves Ukwe. Over the years, he has always told me how he loves Ukwe. So whatever he feels for my sister, your own daughter, did not start today. The feelings has been there for a very long time. Mm. Huh? The decision to marry or not to marry is a quest. And I'm not ready to interfere in any way. But let me tell you this. I want you to know that I am not comfortable with that young man. I am not. You, you have already said that before. Hmm? Yes, Dad. But what I believe is that one day, you will understand that it came with a good intention. Uh. So, how did it go? Perfect. Ah, come on, tell me more about it. I'd like to know. Well, at the moment, there is nothing to talk about. So are you saying it ended in a deadlock? We cannot say deadlock. All I know is... I have planted a seed. And I'm going to be waiting for my seed to germinate. If you say so. Well, but honestly, I would like to ask you a question. What question? For all the class of girls you've seen in your lifetime, why you the cripple? Make a... So you really want me to answer that? Of course. Ah. Well, I love her. She's beautiful. She's classy. She's intelligent. In fact, she's everything. And she may be physically challenged, but Spiritually, she is not challenged. <laughs> Hold on. I don't get this. Ugo hmm? I have new new things from primary school. Mm -hmm. You are that person that would never even settle for someone that has a disability, let alone someone that is confined to a wheelchair. Change. Wait, you don't know. This girl, she's crippled. She can never work for the rest of her life. I know. Hello. So what happened? Change. Change, they say, is the only constant thing in nature. Come on. I have come to love this girl. Everything about her. She's always in my dreams, in my head. She rings like a bell. She's the song I sing every day. Maybe you will now understand with me that when a man falls in love, a fool is born. You may have tried all paths, but you haven't tried the power of love. Only thing you got is Piagi Jaja. What do I offer you? Tell me, what should I get for you, bro? Ma, it's been ages we last saw you like this. What's troubling you? Nothing. I'm fine. 
Ma, we know you will be fine. But at least you can still tell us what troubles you. You have always confided in us. And you can still confide in us now. Okay, Mama. Okay. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Those be my man. What's up, bro? I'm good. How far? I'm fine. Um, you said over the phone that there is something you want to discuss with me. Yes. Okay. Chidoski, you know you are my very good friend. <laughs> and there is no need of me lying to you. Good. And JD, I have fallen in love with one of your sisters, T Wards. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> if I may ask, which of them? Ebelen. Wrong choice. Why? Listen, I don't want to discuss about that with you. You loving her is a wrong choice, okay? And I will advise you to forget about her. Chedi, I would like to ask you this question again, please. Why will me loving her be a wrong choice? And I will give you the same response. That there's no need discussing about her. Please take your drink. Chidi. Ma'am. The car is ready. Um... You have a meeting with Agency Global by 11 a.m. Cancel the meeting. What? You heard me, Glory. Ma'am, you know what it took us to get these people to have this meeting with us. This is a business we cannot afford to throw away. Cancel the meeting and reschedule until this time. Ma'am, is anything the matter? Glory, are you going to listen to me or not? Okay, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. Let me have the file. Thank you. Ma'am, are you sure you're fine? Glory, let me not repeat myself again. Please. Okay, okay, ma'am. Fine, and you? How was your day? Perfect. Beautiful. Guess what? What? You know, I have been thinking about you since I left your house. Really? Oh, yes. Now comes the, the big question. What did you do to me? What have you done to me? <laughs> I didn't do anything to you. God is my witness. <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm there. I was actually taking care of something. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay. So I wanted to ask you, what do you do for a living? Okay, I'm a businessman. Yeah, I, 
uh, export foodstuffs to the U.S. I mean, a lot of African shops in the cities of the U.S. rely on my weekly supply. That's nice. I mean, I also wanted to do business, but my dad wouldn't let me. Your father did the right thing. So we're not going to um, have a challenge on that. <laughs> no. I'm glad that I'm actually not doing business. I'm happy with what I'm doing now. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> On to the next move. One down. Oh, Father. <laughs> you are still on your coffee. Dad, we're running late. I know. Don't wait for us. Hmm? You see, sit and eat something. The money that will be yours, will always be yours. Father, I personally do not believe in that African philosophy. <laughs> yes. If one fails to play the right cards and make the best move, mm. that money which will be given to him will leave him and go to the person playing the right cards and making the best moves. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> You see, I, I managed to set up a credible structure early in life. I became a millionaire at 22. At 34, yes, at 34, I had already set up a structure that even if I'm off my business for a year, yeah, the business will still be running and I will not lose one cup. Father, I don't know why you're saying all this. Is it because you don't want us to attend the meeting to be seen as the sole distributors? <laughs> I am still the same chief Okomadu. Who moves ahead is peers. <laughs> the business is already sealed in our favor, even if I don't attend the meeting today. Hmm? I want to tell you the dream I had last night. Okay, Dad, so what is the dream all about? Yes, um, actually, I saw that young man living with my daughter as her husband. Wow. Dad, that is the good news. Mm, wait till I'm done telling you about this dream. In that dream, Ukwe got pregnant and at the point of delivery. And that fool, that idiot, abandoned my daughter and made away with all her valuables, including the ring of Akbalata. The ring is a gift from my grandmother to my daughter, something I have not given to her, but something I know that I will give to her when she gets married. In that dream, she's already married. So I've given her the drink. But that idiot abandoned my daughter I made away with the ring. Dad, that is the figment of your imagination about Ugochini Reze. Hmm. Yes, Dad. I can tell you for sure that Ugochini Reze loves Ukwe. Hmm. And I am very sure that he's going to prove his love for her when they finally get married. Hmm. That's what you think. Yes, Dad. That ring is connected to Apolata. It's worth about 
3 million pounds, according to Kirologist, just because it possess a spiritual power. Dad, so you have such thing in your custody and you have never told me about it? It's not for you. It's a gift from my grandmother to my daughter. Huh? And I gave it to her in that dream in line with my grandmother's instruction. And that fool stole it. Um, please, Dad. Don't dismiss Ugo Chinyerezi because of a dream. He is not that type of a person. Please, Dad. Dad. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah. Sit. No, I would prefer to stand. <laughs> okay. Both of you noticed that I was troubled yesterday. Yes, ma. And I personally asked you what the problem was. And I did say so. <laughs> you did. Thank you. But the truth is there is no problem. Um, something unexpected happened to what was that? Someone, someone came here to ask for my hand in marriage. <gasps> wow! Are you serious? This is the best things of the day, man. <laughs> hey, we are happy for you. <laughs> Sando. Yes. Chief Okom Mado, my father, has ruined the meeting I spent the better part of the night preparing. So the topic you are presenting right now is the list of the topics I want to dwell on today. Jed. Why are you doing this to me? Eh? Look, my love for this girl is driving me crazy. Winning him my what as I, I, I don't I can't even understand myself. Look, as my very good friend, if there is anything wrong about this beautiful girl, why not say it to me? Let me know. Listen, Osondo. I can't remember telling you that, that, that there's something wrong with that girl. I can't. Okay, good and fine. Why do you now say it to my face that loving her was the wrong choice that I made? Also, do you are indirectly taking me back to the discussion. I said I don't want to discuss it. Same here. I don't want us to discuss it. Just that I needed you to explain what you mean. Okay, fine. If you insist, I will tell you. Please, go ahead. She is a mother of two. From two different men. Yeah. I want you guys to tell me what you honestly think about the proposal. Ebele. Yes, ma. What do you think? Well, ma, like I said earlier, it's a welcome development. At least, your marriage with him will prove to the world that there is no point of hopelessness to any living soul. That's true. 
What about you, Glory? To be sincere, Ma, I am not comfortable with the proposal. What's your reason? Can I ask you a question, Ma? Go ahead. How long have you known this guy? Mm, well, yesterday was my first time of seeing him. But he mentioned that he's been dying to have a conversation with me. Does he love you? I don't know. Do you love him? Honestly, I don't know. I, I told you yesterday was the first time that I met him, but but for him to be dying to have a conversation with me, that, that means he loves me. Don't you think so? Ma, we have to be very sure he loves you and he's not just coming for your father's wealth. And you have to know if you really love him and if you both are compatible to be together in marriage. Hmm. Ma, Glory just made an important point. It could be that he's pretending to love you while he has his eyes on your father's world. Exactly. Okay. I think maybe I should invite him over for dinner. Then you, you guys can question him and see the kind of person he is. That's a good, That's idea. A good idea, ma. Right? Yes, ma. Thank you. We love you. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> Celebrate your time. Celebrate. Everybody make una come. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Whoa! My celebration just began. Because it is a game over. You go chingle, let's uh, You are a master in this game. Others are learning. They are learners. Ah. I just have her heart in my palm. Just like this. <laughs> and her heart is fragile. I just have to handle it with care. Uh, ah! Oh, go. Handle it with care. Mm. When I am done soaking, milking her. It is time to fix my host. Oh, oh. my pipe. I'll fix it on her, then screw it to my sewage. I'll milk her dry. It's not my fault. I'm just trying to survive. But it's fine. She's gonna love it. So let me pop my wine. Winner's wine.
address to the incoming billionaire. Mm. <laughs> Onyogwa. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. Top of the devil. My mm. oil well. Mm. What a pleasant mm. coincidence. Hi, babe. How are you? I'm okay. I was calling to know if you could stop by my place. Oh, of course, I, I'm free. I am coming right away. Okay, that's sweet. See you. Bye. Whoa! <laughs> she has fallen deeply for me. She has fallen. Hi, ladies. Ah, yeah, good afternoon. Uh, um, I think I need to start with introduction. Ugo, these are my girls. They are the only people that I talk to. Okay. They are the only friends that I have. You won't imagine that I actually live here with my dad, but it can should I say, we can stay a week and we won't see each other. Wow. I'm telling you. Well, you see these girls right here? They are my backbone. And, um, girls, this is Ugo. We actually called you to have an interface with you. Hi. I never bargained for this. Why would she involve these witches? Sorry, are you okay? Oh, oh, oh yes. If you're not okay with the interface thing, we can just leave it. It's of course not... I'm fine. You know, I I was just uh, thinking. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I'm shy. Rather, as the only guy here. But I have encouraged myself. I am blessed. Amongst... Women, <laughs> you don't have to cancel the interface. Yeah, uh, hey, I'm cool. I'm good here. No pressure. So go ahead. So girls, this is Ugo Chinyereze. Mm -hmm. He's sounding very intelligent already. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, what do you do for a living, sir? Uh, uh, okay, I I sport food stores. Yeah, I also I sport um animal homes and hides to a fashion designing company in Milan. Wow, that's really huge. Very huge. Very huge, <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Okachi, they said he wants to see me. Yes. Evelyn, I don't know if it will be asking for too much. A place, can you smile for me? Please, I'm not caught out for all of this. Why do you want to see me? The most beautiful one. I love you so much. You mean the world to me. My dear, all I'm asking is for you to give me a chance for me to express my love for you. Mm -hmm. hmm? You know nothing about me. So I will advise you ask questions before coming to me for a relationship. My dear, I actually know about your case with a different man. What? Yes, but I love you like that. Ebeden, just say yes, and you will discover the kind of man standing before you. Eh? So don't bother about that case, whatever, whatever. I am ready for it. I'm not interested. Hello, Ebeden. Are you... Is she angry? Ebelinde? So, where is your shop situated at? Okay. Uh, currently, I do not have a shop in the city. Yes. But I have a warehouse in Lagos where I do most of my uh, distributions from. So, 
are you trying to tell us in your presentation that you don't have an office or somewhere where you package the things you export? Uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a place very soon. Okay, I want to establish a very big place here in the city. Okay, um, a very big place. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Um, mm. Can I take my call? Sure, go ahead. Mm. Thank you. Hi, Dad. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm actually in a meeting with my woman, my beautiful woman. <laughs> oh, yes, I told you about her, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> She's very lovely. Very lovely. Dad, please, can I call you back after the meeting? Yes. I'll call you back. Thank you, Dad. Bye. Okay. You should have continued your conversation with your dad. Is that okay by you? Yeah, sure, of course. Oh, that's fine. Uh, okay, you know, he was actually trying to inform me about my goods that just arrived. Oh. Yeah, but... Okay, I'll just go, call him, then see you later in the day. Okay, no problem. All right, babe. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Okay. Uh, guy, you did well. Yes, you just saved my ass. I'm serious. You called like a wizard. Listen, bro, I owe you a lot. I've left there already. I'll see you shortly. Yes, shortly. That was very close. The more reason I call them witches. Mm. Was that a means of unmasking me? If it is, they have failed. Because my name is Ugochinya Leza, the smooth operator. I am the master of this game. No one plays it better than I do. What's your assessment? He's cool, he's kind, and he's handsome. The most important thing is that he's very smart. <laughs> All those qualities for one man. I'm just dating the obvious man. <laughs> what about you, Glory? What do you think? I want to accept what Njideka said, but mom, I think you need to be very careful. So what's your advice? From what I'm seeing, I think he's the right man for you. So I suggest you marry him. What about you, Glory? I want to agree with what Njideka said, but I still think you should be very careful. What do you mean? Don't be in a haste to accept his proposal. Take your time to study him. I mean, to know the kind of man he is and to be sure if he truly loves you or not. Right. I promise to take my time. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Daddy. My baby. <laughs> Good afternoon, Daddy. <laughs> Good afternoon, my jewel of inestimable value. Mm, dad. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> dad, I'm not a child. <laughs> but you know you are my baby. Really? <laughs> yes. I'm yes. a grown woman now, daddy. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. You do not like to come see me, dad. What? I mean, it's it's like you don't want to see my face. Yeah. 
you feel like because you've provided me with all these things, you, you don't you don't want to come come and see me. Hi. You just want me to feel bad here. Huh? How can you say that? You know that's not true. Never. I just want you to be free in your own wing of the house with your personal assistants so that you can live your life the way you want it. Huh? I know you don't lack anything because if you do, I'll be briefed. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, Dad. I love you, my darling. I love you too. Oh, uh, um, Daddy, I also wanted to thank you for increasing my, my girl's salaries. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, no, 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 for nothing. They are so happy, and I am happy when they're happy. Yeah, of course, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You know, they are providing you the best services they can. And the only thing I can do is to reward them. Thank you. You see, rewarding hard work has a way of encouraging people to even work harder. It does. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Dad, I mm. wanted to come and see you, but since you're here, I mm. think it's better I tell you now. Really? Was it? Um, <laughs> um, I have decided to give Oguchinyeres a chance. Mm. What informed you to take that decision? Well, Daddy, he's a nice guy. Mm. I, I mean, he's kind. He's caring. He he listens to me when I talk. You know, it's just the little little things that gets me excited. I, I think I like him. Really? Yes, Daddy, I do. <laughs> He's close to perfect. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, you you know, um, like I told you the first time he came to this house, uh, the decision to marry. Is solely yours. I'm not going to stand in your way at all. I won't do that. But um, <laughs> I hope he is exactly what you just said he is. Daddy, he is. He is and more. He Trust is. me. Yes. He is. You sure yes. he is? Yes, Daddy. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. If you say so, then you have my permission. Thank you so you much, Daddy. You can go ahead. Thank you. Hmm? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Whatsoever is going to make you happy, you know that's what I'm going to do. Hmm? Thank you, Daddy. Oh, Sandro. I told you to leave this girl. Forget about this girl, but you refused. Now that she has told you to your face that she does not want to date you, can you not rest? Never. What? I will not rest. So... What are you going to do? I will keep pushing until she accepts me. Osondo, what exactly do you, did you say in this girl? Everything. I saw love. Chidi, I saw peace of mind. I saw a woman who will compliment me for life. I saw a woman who is ready to tell me the truth no matter how hard it is. Most importantly, I saw a woman who I will grow old with. And believe me, no man will see such a woman and walk away. <laughs> Osondo, I guess something is wrong somewhere. And I will advise you to go check out yourself. Because I can't, I can't see any reason why you keep falling in love with a woman who has two kids from two different men. You have answers to that question. So there is no need of you asking me. Lucia made a mistake and you cannot... Please, 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 please do not mention that name here. I hate that girl today. Call. Please, don't even mention her name. <laughs> Osondo, can't you forgive this girl? I've never tried such. Lucia, I will never forgive that girl. Osondo, let me tell you something. Bearing grievances against someone is like carrying a grave in your heart. On a daily basis, it will keep bringing you down gradually. Let it be. Osondo, let it. I will never forgive that girl. You see, Lucia? 
She is the most useless human being on earth. Also, I hate that girl to the core. Also, stop this. So, can't I advise you anymore? Good advisor. Locate her, then advise her. You don't look happy. What's the problem? This guy is here again. Oh, Sondo, of course. The guy that is asking me out. So what are you going to do? I honestly don't know what to do. I need your advice. I don't need any other advice you expect me to give to you. That will be different from the one I gave you. Give this guy a chance now. It's as simple as that. I don't even know why you say this with so much confidence. I am saying it with so much confidence. Because it's the right thing to say. To the best of my knowledge, this guy knows you have kids. He even knows I have them from two different men. And he is still interested in you. <sighs> That's the problem. This should make you know that he loves you now. Eh? Give him a chance. See, we we'll have to do something about this young security. So. Oh, yeah. Come on, leave. I will tell you what to do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go chinyere. Are you sure you don't want to be served anything? Not at all, Chief. Ah. Yes. You are a guest in the home of Chief Okomadu. The Opata Onyibe of Idu. Uh, it's not okay by me that you are not taking anything. Ask for anything and it shall be given to you. Okay, I will. But certainly not now. Mm. Yes, Chief. Well, if you say so, okay. Um, my angel requested that she has something she wants to say before the three of us. Uh, my angel. Yes, Dad. The men you requested for are seated before you. This, can you talk to us? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. So I am going to be brief with it. Okay. So that Ugo can go back to his business. All right. That this thing I'm about to see should have been between him and me. Mm. But for reasons best known to me, I've decided to bring it before you. Okay. Um, Daddy. My daughter. Brachidi. My dear sister. I have decided, I have decided to marry Ugo. Mm. Whoa! Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I love you and that's the only reason why I'm saying yes. I will love you more. I will love you for my life, ever and ever. Wow, 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 wow. This calls for celebration. A, a big one. Yeah. A big celebration, yes. Um, Dad, what do you have to say? It's a request call, and she has made the call. So, um, Ugo Oh Yes, Chief. When are you coming with your people to make it official? Okay, okay. Make that as fast as possible, yes. Um, by weekend, yes. Then in two weeks, we will be getting married legally and officially. Is that too fast? I can't wait. Yeah, babe. Don't worry. I, I am loaded. <laughs> I am loaded. It's okay by me. I, I fully uh, prepared. I guess um, you can't wait to make her your wife. Exactly. Exactly. I can't <laughs> wait. I mean, marrying Ukwe will be the best thing that will happen in my life. Well. <laughs> Chidi. Yes, Dad. 
He is in hurry. He should not be in hurry to take my angel away from me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Daddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. It is going to be another big celebration, bro. Wow. Yeah, there was a semi celebration. You weren't there. I did the celebration alone myself. Okay, but you see today, tell me where you want to go. Mention it. Any bar of your choice, lounge, uh, restaurant, say it and I will take you there. All bills on my head, Lee. <laughs> ah! It's nice to hear that, but. What are we celebrating? Uh, I haven't told you. Oh, of course you haven't. My God. Listen, Okwe has accepted to marry me. Oh. Yes, and Chief Okomado has given me his consent. Okay. Ah, That's very good. I can see why you are gleaning from... From here to here. That's good. You can good. say that again, bro. You can say that again. That's good. Um, I hope you love and cherish her. Of course. I am going to love her with every passing moment of life. That girl is my everything. That girl is soft. And in fact, that girl is me and I'm her. Do you understand? Hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. But, guy, I need to ask you. Okay. What is the inspiration that would make you settle down with the cripple? Hmm? I, just, I, I cannot it. fathom where that inspiration is coming from. Please, I didn't hear tell you. me. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear you. Okay. Let me come closer. Maybe you didn't hear me well. Can you tell me where the inspiration, where that light of you settling down with a cripple coming from? I didn't hear you. I did not hear you. What, what, what did you say? Hmm. Ugo, for the last time, uh, I need to ask you. Okay. What is behind that your light or the love that you found that you want to settle down with a cripple? A girl confined to the Emeka, wheelchair for the rest of her life. And make her mind the way you call my wife cripple. Please. Oh, listen, when you call her that name, indirectly you're, you're, you're calling me a crippled man. But I'm not crippled. Is it like? Yes, that's, that, that's how it sounds, bro. This is my life, my wife we're talking about. It's my marriage. It's my cripple. It's not yours. Listen, Okwe is mine. And I'm, and I'm hers. Okwe is my everything. She is the flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. She is the bone of my bone. The only woman I have ever loved. The only lovely woman in whom I am well pleased. She will not understand. Really? I'll say really. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. What are you doing? Uh, Ma, these clothes are no longer good for you. So I think we should just replace them. You're always taking care of me. Of course, I have to, Ma. Thank <laughs> you. You're welcome, Ma. <laughs> All right, then do with it whatever you want to. Okay, Ma. Uh, um, but next time when you are sorting out my clothes, please don't bring it to the living room. Okay, Ma. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Come and take this one. Okay, Ma. I have something to tell you. What, ma? I have accepted Uguchinere's proposal. Wow, are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh, well, congratulations <laughs> in advance, ma. I'm so happy Thank for you. you. Congrats, ma. Wow, this is a good news. Thank you. Congrats, ma. You. I'll have to take my leave now. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, ma. All right. Chidi. Yes, Dad. You are my son. 
and you know that I have given you the space you need to grow into a man that can express his mind at any time. So what is it you want to tell me? Say it. Um, Dad, I wanted to discuss this with you when Ugo Chinyereze was here. But um, in my second thoughts, I said it would be proper I discuss it alone with you. Mm, what could that be? In my considered view, Dad, mm -hmm. um, I think we should finance the marriage. Mm. No. Yes, Dad. That is not the norm. Why should we do that? Father, this is your beloved and only daughter's marriage we are talking about here. The I am mighty in this state and all over the country. Uh -huh will be present. I equally know that your friends in Europe and US will be there. Father, Ugo Chinyereze does not have the financial muscle to finance such marriage. That is where you got it wrong. He's the one getting married, not me. So? Let him organize his marriage according to his finance. As for me, huh, on that day, I will only come as a guest. But father, this would not go down well with Ukwe. What are you talking about? Did she tell you to talk to me? No, father. I'm only speaking as a brother. <laughs> she didn't send me here to speak. So? Why did you say my decision to allow Uke's husband to finance their wedding won't go down with my daughter? Why did you say that? Father, if there's any time for you to prove the love you have for Uke, it is during a marriage. No. I will rather prepare for their life after marriage than prepare for their life before marriage. I won't do that. How do you mean that? <laughs> that story for another day. Hmm? <clears throat> hey, brother. Hello, sister. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> so where are you up to? I'm going to go to his house. Why? He asked me to come and see him. At least I'll get to know his place and then we'll plan for the wedding. Wow. I That's know. cool. I know. <laughs> well, you have to be very careful. I will. Good. <laughs> I will. Good. I'll see you later. Where okay. are you going to? Nowhere. Yeah. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. You need some help? No, 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 I'm good. I'm right. good, I'm fine. Please be careful. I will. Right. Okay. There's this room I'm hearing. I don't know if it's true. Uh-uh. We need the world speed now. What room is that? That madame is getting married. Uh-uh. Don't tell me you've not heard. There's no room now. Of course, madame is getting married. Now. If I'm aware of it, I will not be asking you now. Here. Madame is getting married. She even confirmed that to me directly. And we are married. To who? To Gochi Nerez, of course. Gochi Nerez. Uh-huh. Ogachi, this friend. Uh-huh. And Chifuko Mad is aware of it. Of course, now he approved it. He approved it. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is not good. Though. What is the problem? Uh, Where is No, no, nothing. So, where is Madam? Hey, Madam has gone to Gochinyereze's house. Eh? You did not get What is it? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Hmm? There is no problem. <laughs> I'm fine. 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 I'm 
Good and afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Okay. You sent for me? Yes, I did. Though we are not supposed to be discussing this here, but I'm just doing it because my boss is not around. In that case, let us go to somewhere else and talk about this. Mm -mm. No need for that. I just want to tell you that I'm ready to date you now. So what? You heard me, right? I'm ready to date you. Are you for real? Of course, I'm for real. Like you have accepted me to be your man? Of course I have. Oh, please, can I have no, it? No, 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 no. That will be all for now. I'll give you a call. When? I'll call you. <laughs> a nice place here. Thank you. You stay alone? Yes. Why do you ask? Nothing. Okay. So, what do I offer you? Mm. Choose. But that should be after our discussion. Alright. So we should have the discussion now. Yes. Oh, before then, babe, I I'd like to update you on how far I've gone with the marriage planning. Were you serious when you said our marriage is in two weeks' time? Sure. I'm not going back. As a matter of fact, I contracted some planners to uh, to help out. And so far, they've covered 70%. Uh, now, the remaining the finishing part, well, they're on it. Wow. Every day, day in, day out. That's so fast. That's because I can't wait to make you my wife. And I can't wait to be legally yours. <laughs> Thank you, babe. For what? Secondly, I want to talk about the red moon of your stewards. What about them? After our marriage, you won't be needing them. Why? I'm here. Babe, I'm going to be your legs. I'm going to be your arms. I'm going to be your eyes. I'm going to be here always for you. I'll even do better than them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My love, that's so sweet. But honestly, I don't want to be a burden to you. Come on, I'm not complaining. I won't complain. Okay? I love you with all my heart. This is where you belong. Right here. And here you'll be forever. I love you more. You're God sent to me. Aww. What? <laughs> oh, that's actually sweet, you know. You see how I feel when you say yeah. those words. <laughs> I know you want to know the outcome of the meeting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm real cool. laughs> oh well. Mm -hmm. Um it's going on well. That's that's all I was saying. <laughs> that's all I was saying. I don't want to give off too much. I don't need to be told. Mm? <laughs> it is already written all over you as you basked in the euphoria of the visit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, so mm, tell me more about it. There is nothing more to say. The only thing is he said he is done with 70% um, of the preparation. Wow. So that means... The preparation is on top gear. Mm, my dear, I am so <laughs> excited. I am, I am so excited. Hmm. That's good. That's good. Wow. But um, don't you think uh, this would be stressful for him to do it alone? He's not doing it alone. He hired an um, event planner. So. Oh wow! 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 Congratulations once again. Thank you, brother. Congrats. Eh? Thank you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. What? Look at you. How was that? How <laughs> <laughs> was that look for? I'll soon leave you in this house and go. What? 
you convinced my daughter that you love her. Based on that, I married her off to you. Thank you very much, Chief. I, I love her with all my heart. Mm. And I cannot stop loving her. Yeah. Yes. Good. And that sound good to me. Huh? You know, she's my jewel of inestimable value. And uh, I just feel empty that she's no longer with me. Very empty. Oh, Dad. Come on. You sound as if I'm not permitted to come and see you. I am a woman, and you know that I'm definitely going to get married one day. Uh, we will always come to see you, sir. That's true. But then, if at any time you stop loving her, please bring her back to me. Is that okay? Ah, Chief, will that day ever come? Of course it will never come. I... I will love her forever. Mm. Yes. Well, um... This house is now your matrimonial home. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> I know this place is conducive for you. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Dad. And, uh, okay. Oh, thank you very much, Chief. Thank, thank you very much. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, and, uh, nice. But then, if you need to do any renovation, hmm, don't hesitate to call me. I will send my engineers to come and do the job uh, for you. No, 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 Chief. You don't, you don't need to bother yourself. Yeah? It's okay like this. It's okay. I'll be fine. All right. Well, you've done enough already. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> he gave me a second hand car what happens to a brand new car or am I not worthy to drive a brand new car why is this man this stingy and heartless even the house gift has my name and that of his daughter on it which means the house is jointly owned by both of us. What kind of gift is this? It is not over. Aunt Eo, it is over. We will see the end of this. <laughs> What's that? Baby, this is so good. I see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you love it. Wow. I, I didn't know men can be this good in the kitchen. Ah. Because my brother cheated. He is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned from the best. Hmm. My mom. Oh. She taught me well. I can see. You haven't seen anything. <clears throat> my love. This is so good. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, baby. Mm. 
<laughs> Say thank you. Say thank you. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. Honestly, guy, I just feel like returning that car and moving out of this house. Why? What's the problem? Do you not understand? Let me understand, uh, guy. My friend, what's going on? Hey, take a look at that car now. Eh? Doesn't want it. Isn't it the same car that Chidi has driven for three years? Look at the house. Very old. I suspect this, this is where he kept one of his one of his uh, concubines. Okay, wait, wait, stop it right there. First and foremost, that's not the car. And okay, let me for once believe you. If this is where he kept his mistresses, that was then. If I even believe you, it's not now anymore. What is wrong with this house? Everything now, is man? wrong with this house. I don't get Are you me. blind? Can't you see? Look at me now. Guy, take a look at me now. Does this house befit, befit me? Eh? How can a guy band like me be living in this kind of house? Look at the car. What happens to Ferrari? What happens to Porsche? What happens to uh, Lamborghini? Then buy yourself a car. You have a thriving business, don't you? Get yourself a car that befits your status. Finish. No, but why, why should I buy myself a car when I have a man like him? My in-law is, is, is a billionaire. He can do it. So why should I go and start, start spending money? Bro, do you know what I've done for this family? I removed a liability, a burden from the family. Do you know how it feels living under the same roof with, 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 with a crippled woman? Let me ask you now. Eh? He has estates. What happens to getting me a house in one of his estates? A duplex, mm. a fine car. This man should beautify me. Hey, you know, he knows, he knows now, he knows how, how to do all these things. Get me a good car, a good house, and I'll be happy that I'm, 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 I'm doing this. Honestly, it doesn't want it though. It doesn't want it at all. It does not want it. Before God and man. Okay, now, see the house now. Eh? Even the house has uh, my name and, 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 and that of their daughter on the papers. Why now? Wait, hold on. Do you have a problem with that? Because no sane human will have any problems with you and your wife's name being in the paper of your house. Is that a problem? Of course now. Don't you get it? I'm the man of the house. The papers should, should, should carry only my name. No, 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 not the other way around. My dear friend, you guys are married. Two of you are not become one. So there will be no need for only your name to be in those house papers. Do I need to actually remind you of that? Listen, Emeka, I don't know what you're saying. You're not getting me at all. Eh? To, to, to make this thing very short, this house, the car, everything is not worth it. Yes. It's not, guy, I'll, I'll, I'll move. Oh, okay, wait. I'll, I'll just leave this house. I'll wake up one morning and disappear. Okay. My dear friend, can I ask you, why did you marry Ogun? Because I've been willing to ask you why. Change the subject. No, 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 no. No, I, I won't, okay? I need you to tell me why. From the beginning of this scene, I need to know why you got married to her. I won't. Hello, big sis. Hello, Chidi. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm fine. All right. So, <clears throat> how is marriage treating you? <laughs> well... Marriage has been interesting. I mean, I love sleeping and waking up in the arms of my husband. Wow. I'm so happy hearing this from you. So how is he? He's okay, he's fine. How is that and everyone? We are all fine, just that we are missing you. I miss you guys too. I will try and visit before the end of the month. Wow, that would be great. We can't wait to see you again. I can't wait to see you too. Okay, bye. All right, baby, take care of yourself. <clears throat> Even the almighty ring of Apalata that my father promised to give to her during her marriage, he still didn't give it to her. Seriously, I don't know what's going on. 
I really don't know. Well, Pasondo, <laughs> okay? yes, yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? Is everything okay? <laughs> everything is okay, thank you. Please sit. Thank you. <laughs> You requested to see me? Yes. I think it's important I tell you how I became a mother of two from different men. Look, Belen, it's no longer a new story. So, forget about whatever people may say. I will not listen to them. What matters is our love. So, please, let that one be. Okay? I know. But I still think it's important you know the past of the woman you want to get married to. Okay. If you insist. Yeah. You know, my biological father died when I was 10. And my mother remarried. So, she's always busy with work and business. She's not always around. So, my stepfather had nothing doing. So. Whenever I return from school, he's always at home. From there, he started making advances at me. I tried speaking to my mom about it, but she didn't listen. She didn't believe me, so... It continued. Until he started having kind of knowledge of me. At the end point was the pregnancy. So when my mother found out, she insisted I should remove the pregnancy. But I never wanted to. I had to leave the house. So when I left the house, I met, I met another man who was willing to harbor me and my unborn child. He took care of me throughout the pregnancy. So, after he delivered, a year after he got me pregnant, so, when the pregnancy was eight months gone, his wife came back. And that was when I found out that he's also a married man. So he threw me out of the house. <laughs> that was how I became a mother of two from different men. It's okay. Don't say anything again. I understand everything now. And it's not your fault. Yes, don't cry. I'm here for you. I promise to give you the best. I'm sorry for everything that happened. Please. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. How are you? I'm fine, my love. You sure? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what's up? Did you miss me? Of course I did. You know I did. Uh, okay. I'm here now. Don't miss me again. <laughs> of course. Babe. Yes, honey. I want to tell you something. Okay. I need your... I need a little favor from you. Go on. Oh. Say it. If it's something I can do, I'll do it. All right, there's this um, business opportunity that just popped up, so I need to quickly invest in it. So I, I need some cash. Oh. Yeah. Like how much are we talking about? 80, 80 million now. Wow. Well, my love, I don't have that kind of money in my account. Ah. Uh, so that, that, that means you cannot help me. 
That's not what I'm saying. You see, the thing is, um, because that's business managers, they'll provide everything I, I want. I don't always see the need to ask them for money or take huge money in my account. So, what do I do? Um, just, just be patient with me, okay? Ah, I will talk to the managers. There's right. no time. Listen, I know. wait. There's no time now. Huh? I don't have time. I just need to do this as 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 fast as possible. I know. Relax. Oh, babe. I will tell them to send the money in my account. You don't have fourteen million. No. What about ten. No. Ah. My love, I don't even have up to two million in my account. Huh? For real. Two million, man. I don't have it. What now you do? I don't have it, but don't worry, I will talk to my father. All right? Ah, ah baby. I'm sorry to... Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Sorry. Uh, don't worry, please. I, I'll call my friends. I have some rich friends that I can... I can talk to. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have some rich friends. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to talk to my wife first. That that that's oh, all. My love, I'm sorry. I have to talk to them. Okay. Yeah. Well, you don't have uh, I'm trying to look at this project. Yeah. And it's looking promising. There's this folder they sent me today and I don't know if I really like it. Babe, come on. Babe. Babe. Hmm. Babes, Chief is a nice man. Oh. Mm -hmm. What surprises me the most is the fact that he takes care of Ebelene's children, like put them on scholarship. Yes. Which sure. other which other rich man would do such a thing? Chief is the most generous man I know. <laughs> He pays us our salary, clothes us, feeds us, takes when care of us. In his house too. <laughs> like even when the kids are not even related to him, he still takes care of them. I still want to stay in this house. Ah, oh, I'm sleep. very lucky. Hmm. I'm going to Hana. I broke up. Chum chum chum. Love a love a girl. I beg. I tell us how do you go? Perfect. <laughs> Talk, John. Which one be perfect? Well. I told him everything, and he said he doesn't have any problem with that. Oh, <laughs> you see, I told you that that guy loves you so much. Now you are happy. That's not just that, though. He said he will be getting married to me soon. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 babes. Why are men so dubious in nature? And each time they want to perpetuate their emotional wickedness, they look for the good girls to deal with. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Okay, let me tell you, so you understand better. Did he tell you that he is married and his wife cannot give him children? And he is looking for a fertile land to sow his seeds. And that fertile land is you? What? Oh, that's a lie, please. It can be. My dear, for you to know if it is a lie or not, why not go back there and ask him what I just said now? Hold on. Are you serious about this? Yes, serious. I'll be right back. No. Mm. Oh. Oh. And who is after you? <laughs> no, no, no. No one. So why did you rush to in the manner you did? <laughs> uh, nothing, Ogachi did. I, I actually just want to see your friend, um, Osondo. Oh. Yes. You just left now. <sighs> okay, no problem. Thank you. Excuse me? Any problem? No, not at all. Sorry to bother you. There must be a reason why she bashed in like that. But what could it be?
she does not retain huge amount of money in her bank account. That means I just married a big liability, good for nothing crippled. Damn it. What do I do? Whether she likes it or not, she must pay. And that is final. Honey, baby, babe. Bro, it appears you're not happy in your marriage. If that's the case, I think it's too early to complain. Well, it's not like I'm complaining, bro. Jada, my, my, my father-in-law has chosen to, to ridicule me. It doesn't make sense. Really? That's not what I got to do. That is a nice man. What did he do if I may ask? Wait, Emeka. Is it what you got at that matters of what I'm telling you? Listen. This man gives me monthly allowance. Oh. Oh, it's not enough. It, the money is too small. It's too small. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You should be grateful that you even found someone that gives you a fucking at the end of the month. Hey, guy. No, no. Hey, relax. You're my friend, and I will tell you the truth. My wife is home. Okay, you're my friend, and I will tell you the truth. See, I've known so many people that married into rich homes that they don't get a dime. Wait, hold on. Why are you even after their money anyway? I thought you had a driving business. You're sounding like this because you don't know what I bargain for. Oh. Okay. I want to know what you bargain for. I think it's the best time for us to talk what you bargain for. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay. You said it's an undisclosed amount. So, can you tell me what it he is? He wants it to remain like that, undisclosed. Oh, really? Uh, uh, ah, my love. How are you? Good morning. Mm. How are you doing? Ah, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Uh, Sorry. Easy. Yes. I'm fine, and you? Very well, very well, very well. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. My beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> I can see he's taking good care of you. Of course. Oh, yes. Of course he is. <laughs> Thank you. My love, I noticed you left the bedroom on and out. Um, I am sorry, darling. As at the time I woke up, you were still asleep, so... I didn't want to disturb you. I had to come down to prepare something special for us. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Well, before you guys remind me of my family, I need to leave, okay? <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. We have to do breakfast together. That can wait. I will take a rain check on the breakfast, okay? I'll see you some other time. Okay. Keep being beautiful, okay? okay? Oh, take care of yourself. Eh? Like see you later, bye. So oh, you're welcome. Thank you. See you later. Take care of yourself. Eh? He's wow. such a good guy. Yeah, he's a seer. He, so, he just called you an angel. And that's what you are. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what did you make? You want to know? Mm. All right, come. Let me show you. Okay. All right. Good morning, Dad. Yeah, good morning, Judy. How are you? I'm fine, Dad. Okay. Good. Um, I don't know if you're in the mood to talk. There is something very important I want us to discuss. Mm. Important? Yes, Dad. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you, Dad. Um, <clears throat> Father. Mm. 
I am of the opinion, if you can bring in Ugo Chinyeres into the family business, why? Why? Father, by marriage, he is now one of us. Ugo Chinyeres is an intelligent young man who is ready to learn and aspire to a great height in life. So, I think it would be better we bring him into the family business. At least there are so many things he can be doing for us. What you are suggesting is not the norm. Hmm? There's no full-blooded evil man that would like to do that. He was doing something before he married your sister. Isn't it? So it's only right for him to continue doing what he was doing then. Father, the world has gone beyond that level of norms we keep referring to. Father, everyone is on the move now. Father, the young man who married your daughter should be made a son by every definition of the world. You see, the biggest problem you have is convincing me into doing anything must be void of all elements of sentiment. You know, I told her so much about sentiment. You know that. Hi, love. Are you married? My, my oh, Sandu, the question is, are you married? Speak up. Why, Mama? Who told you that? Hmm. Oh, Sandu, so it's true. In fact, I caused the day I met you. <laughs> Don't try to stop me again. Don't, because you won't like me. My love, it's, it's, not, it's not what you think. It's not... Evelyn. Hey. Hey, man, one. Hi! Hey, Hi! Who must have told her this? So my enemies have finally succeeded. Mana, go in this room, look at me, go in this room, me, me. Hey, Billy! Hey, Billy, Hi! Jesus. My love, I want to ask you something. Go ahead, babe. What is it? I have noticed you've been unhappy. Is there anything you would like to tell me? How do you mean? My love, I know you. You're not saying anything, but action speaks louder than voice. You, you try to hide it from me, but the more you try, the more obvious it becomes. I'm not fine, but I'll be okay. Tell me, what is it? Well, it's about what I told you the other day. Um, that I've been needing some, some funds for my business. Just imagine Right this now, I'm at the verge of... I should go... Losing that business your father of my ability to he's supposed uh, to pay me funds big required for marrying off a crippled daughter. My love, but it's you not a big You guys are not even serious. It is. I mean, you have someone like my father. Just talk to Chidi about it and he will relate with that. It's not a big deal. Alright? Just imagine this fool. I should go begging your father when he's supposed to pay me big for marrying off a crippled daughter. You guys are not even serious. My love, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, yes, well, you I, don't want to talk to my brother I'll, about it? I'll talk to him. I'll talk to your dad. I'll talk to Chidi. Uh, I'm sorry for for bothering you. My no. issues. No. I love you. I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, Osundi is married. And he kept coming for you. Hey! 
This life no balance, I swear. My sister, that is meant for you. What exactly does he want from you? Ha -ha. Do you need to ask twice? All he wanted was to come and collect his own share. Yes, he simply heard that she has two kids for different men. So he just wanted to come and collect his own portion. He wanted to get her pregnant, claim ownership of the child, and move on with his life. He must be very stupid to think in that direction. If that had happened, I wouldn't have allowed him to move an inch with my child. Let's just thank God that it did not happen. <sighs> men are simply very wicked, honestly. Very, very wicked. <laughs> Especially <sighs> men like us on do. Wickedness is an understatement. It runs in their veins. They are evil. Huh. Babes, we still have some good men out there. I'm sure of it. Oh, please. With my experience, there is no good man out there. Not even one. It's very natural to speak the way you have just spoken. Because of your bad experience, I know. But trust me, everything will be fine. Mm? So just share up now. It's okay now. Come on. Everything will be fine. So, Hugo, what exactly do you want my father to do for you? Um, Chid, there is this business I want to do, do you understand? So I need some funds to facilitate it. Like, I need some cash. Okay, yeah, okay. Some cash. All right, um, so like how much do you need? Uh, maybe... $30,000, $40,000. Let me see $40,000. That's like uh, 20 million naira. Hmm. 20 million naira. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a small amount of money. Are you serious? Yeah. Compared to what my father has been doing for outsiders. Hey. All right? So, um, once I leave here, I'm going straight to the house to discuss everything with him. Hi! <laughs> GD. Chidi, oh, you were good in law. You were good in law. Oh, <laughs> Thank you very much. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you very much, no bro. Problem. I really appreciate it. It's all really right. It's all right. Now. You know, um, you are not part of the family. Of course, yeah. you're a full member of the family. Yeah? Yes, by your marriage to my sister, you are part of the family. Ah, hmm? You can say that again. So, you know, uh, we should be able to assist you in any way we can. Yes, you just have to. Yeah. Yeah, you sure. just have to, yes. Sure. Yeah, it's, thank you very much once again. No problem. You, <laughs> you know, actually, I didn't want to call my friends. Okay. Yeah, calling my friends for just uh, $40,000 or $30,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow now. So I wanted to uh, sort it out within this locality. All you right. understand? But mm -hmm. fine. If it works out, it's okay. But if it doesn't work out, I'll, I'll have why, the chance to call. Why not? It's going to work out. All right, okay. bro. Thanks, man. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, bro. Uh -oh. Thanks. Uh, uh, get in now. Just hop into the car. Let oh. me let me take you to where you drop your own car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let no bomb guy. You sounded very very disturbed about the phone. Is everything okay? Yes, I'm good. Are you sure? Of course. All right. You requested to see me. Yes. Amy, of late, your friend has not been very happy. Really? Did he tell you what is troubling him? Not at all. The picture he painted about your union was a beautiful one. In fact, if something everybody would be envious of. No, no, not at all. Okay. Okay. Have you tried to investigate from your part what the issue could be? Yes. Of course I've asked him. But I am not satisfied with the answer he gave me. Really? Amy, that's why I need you to please help me ask my husband what the problem is. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. I know you guys are very close. Of course. Of course. See. Okay. There's no cause for that. Okay. okay? I will do exactly what you want me to do. Okay. You know, men, probably business concern, one or two just very minor things gets at him sometimes. Right. That doesn't say you should be upset about anything. It's just a very minor incident. So you keep him pretty and stop. Don't let external factors get you <laughs> down, okay? My dear, 
All I need from her is her audience. If she is not comfortable with my story, she can walk away. You don't get it. The issue here now is that a Belene does not want to ever set her eyes on you again. I know she is very angry with me. That is why I brought you in. Ebelene is your friend. Eh? This is the best you can do for me, please. Help me and talk to her. Convince her on my behalf. I want her to accept me back. Why didn't you tell her your story before she found out herself? You should at least know that a lady that had passed through what she has passed through would like to investigate her own man before having anything to do with him. I understand. And I accept it's my fault. You know, I wanted to tell her this story at the right time. I don't even know that a billionaire has started investigating about me. Yeah? Please, my dear. A billionaire is the woman after my heart. I don't know what I will do. Just help me out. Hey, bro. Yeah? What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting to see you. I'm all right. Well, it's just your wife. She just called me about an emergency. My wife? Is she all right? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Okay, so why did she invite you? <sighs> well, bro, your wife is beginning to notice how unhappy you are. Yes. Of course I know. I know she knows that I'm not happy. She has tried to to have that conversation with me, but I I didn't give out yet. You might think you're weird off, but I'm sorry. She knows everything anyway. But between you and I, I need to ask, what is wrong? Why are you not happy? I make it, can we not talk about this? No, I need to know. You're my friend, and I guess you can hide anything from me, it so. Will, it will be a story for another day. No. It won't right. be a story for another day. It won't be because, see, you have a wife that loves you. She practically does everything for you. She cares for you. She buys you everything that you want. Instead of you to sit down and build your home, you go about town complaining like a sport kid. What exactly is your problem? Watch your tongue. I would not watch my tongue, Mr. Man. I want to ask you something. Are you married? Wait, 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 wait. What has me being married got to do with your you being a boy? You brother? are married. I want to ask you again. Is your wife crippled? Please. Now, do you know what it feels? Do you know how it feels? Do you know what it means living under the same roof with a crippled woman? See, listen. Learn to stay out of my marriage. I will not stay out of your business. The truth is bitter. The earlier you know the truth, the better. Okay? Get the truth into your thick score. Listen, girls. Osondo is the last person I want to talk about right now. Please. Belene, you need to calm down. You coming down, no? Oh, this is Belene, this is Belene, that. I'm going to be a bugger, I'm going to be a bugger. Eh? Meanwhile, my mother didn't even show any mercy. Oh, it's high time I even changed this name. Let me rest. Oh, please. Do not speak ill of your mother. Because you know how frustrated she was as a widow before your stepfather stepped in. I am just confused. Honestly speaking, I am confused. Just when I was thinking that I finally found help, this liar just showed up from nowhere. Do not hold him as a liar yet. Come on, Ebelene. I listened to this guy, and something in me tells me that he was waiting for the right time for him to tell you his story. Mm. All you need is to give him an audience now. Eh? It's not that hard. Njideka, Osondo has nothing to talk about. He has absolutely nothing to talk about. I don't need this guy in my life. After all, Chief Okomad has already placed my kids on scholarship. And they're living very well and doing well for themselves. Your kids are not a problem here. Ebelene, you and I know that you are the issue. You need a man in your life. And that was under of a guy that started poorly by not opening up to you might be the guy. I know what I'm saying, you know. Hmm. Njidek, I don't know why you're stressing this issue. I don't need this guy again, and that is final. This discussion is over. Period. Hmm. Uh, you have to be brief, Chidi. It's almost time to go to bed. 
Um, yes, that I know, and um, I'll be brief. Mm. All right, go ahead. Dad, I was with um, Ugochini Reze earlier today. Okay. He said he needs about um, 20 million naira for an urgent business. Mm. Yes, Dad. It's okay. You know, uh, all businesses at a point need more money. But why are you telling me about this? Dad, because I want you to give him the money. And after the business, he will give you back. No, no, no. no. I'm not giving him any money. <sighs> no? But why, Dad? Why? Uh, you see, the banks are there to help businesses. And as you have confirmed that he has a business plan that we see him through to repay the money, then let him approach the bank. Come on, Dad. Stop all this. Dad, you know how banks operate in this country. How do they operate? Hmm? I am owing the bank as I speak. All businessmen that are very good in their businesses go to the bank. There's no big deal about that, unless you don't need expansion. If you need expansion, you must owe the bank. And Chidi, please listen to me very carefully. Stop talking to me about helping that young man. So long as I'm concerned, he's still under test. And until I am satisfied that he is here for real and not for the money, I'm not going to give him any helping hand. No! Thank you. Good night. I don't need to be told that my father does not does not like Ugochini or is he? But why? Eh? Why? Streets, you've refused. Have I not tried? Please. I, I, I don't want that now, please. Just, just sleep. My love, it's not only when you want it that will do it now. If you don't want it, yeah, I, I want it now. I don't want it. But I do. Huh. My love, tell me what the problem is. Why don't you want to touch me? No, oh. no. Leave me alone. What's, what's all this? Allow me to sleep. Please. Baby, but I want you. I don't want. Just, just sleep, please. Baby, is, is there something you're not telling me? Eh? Wait now. Wait. I want to thank you for giving me audience. You have three minutes to say whatever thing you want to say. Three minutes is even more than enough. Yes, I was married before. But the woman I got married to actually had three kids for another man without telling me. What? Yes, we spent two years together without kids and it was all her plans. So when I complain about her non-challenged attitude towards giving me children, she opened up and said it to my face that she did not marry me to give me children. Uh, it's a lie. No African woman can say that. Really? Yes. 
And after saying that, my curiosity arose. I started digging. I found out that she had three children for another man before getting married to me. So, all I did was to go to her people with the traditional requirements and to announce to them that I was no longer interested in the marriage. The family accepted. So, please, traditionally, I am no longer married. I want you to accept me. There is no other person in my life except you, please. I really love you so much. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Um, listen, Jade, from all indications, Chief Okomad, my father-in-law, is still having doubt about me. And it makes me feel bad. I feel really bad, honestly. That is not how I say it. Okay, how do you say it? Um, the issue here is that um, <clears throat> My father is very difficult to trust and to accept people. But once he does that, he can go to any length to favor that person. Okay, fine. Beautiful. Now, what do you advise I do? What, what should I do? To the best of my knowledge, Gochinye Reze, you have been real to my sister. Very real, bro. So I will advise you, you keep to it. <laughs> you may not know this, but... My father is still watching you. Jade, I love your sister very well. I love her from the depth of my heart and there is nothing on this earth that can change that. Thank you so much for being here. You are a great man who has loved an incapacitated woman like my sister. And I promise you this, you will never regret this for loving her. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, can I get 2,000 now from you? 2,000? Or 5,000. Um, I forgot my call card, uh, my ATM card. I need to add some for, like, top up. Okay. Uh, can I make a transfer? At this point, you don't need a soothsayer to tell you that our son is in love with you. Oh, well, that guy is all over you now. Come on. Well. I'm beginning to feel for him though. Like, that woman is so evil. How can a woman do that to a man? I get the jerk, right? <sighs> See, just like we have evil men, we also have evil women too. Omo, um, this one off me. Like, what was she even thinking? That she could just impose another man's children on her new husband? It's hilarious though. It's called being smart. But we're not talking about that woman, so don't even go there. We are talking about you. <laughs> Osunde sees you as a woman that will be his wife. Uh -huh. And also the mother to his kids. So I think you should just go all out with him now, eh? Be a little romantic <laughs> now. Stop. Well, I'm thinking towards that direction, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's only true love that will make a man to love a woman with kids. And as I'm looking at you right now, I think you are at your last bus stop. Oh, please. Come over that. I am still much more better mm -hmm. than those babes out there that have I done know. series of abortions. Come on, I only have two kids and I didn't do nothing. I didn't do any abortions. So I'm still much more better than them, please. Yes. Uh huh. They are just mother of dead children. Right? Exactly. You get the point. <laughs> <laughs> You're there. I wish I can find a man that will love me the way someone loves you. Ah. Uh -huh. Don't worry, you will. And just like Ugochi Nereza loves madam unconditionally. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It only takes men with great heart to display such love. And I'm... I think I should just drag one idiot to the right, you know? Call you. Don't go and settle down. Drag one in. Be dragging them up and down. Not put Hey, it's because everybody's in the left and I can just drag one person to the right. Continue. My love, welcome, baby. Thank you. Baby, not today. I need to be left alone. I have good news. 
Maybe it might change your mood. Good news? Mm -hmm. are, are you serious? Yes. Has your father accepted to, I mean, has your father given you the money for me? Oh, no. But I promise you, it's something better than money. Wow, oh, that, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> has he given me one of his estates? I mean, a landed property, what exactly? Because that, it's even worth more than my, money. My, my love, it's something better than the estate. Are you serious? Yes. Tell me, babe, what, what is it? Tell me about it. Um, okay. We are... We are two weeks pregnant. <laughs> two weeks, baby. We are what? We are two weeks pregnant. How? Why? I, I don't understand. My love, what do you mean by how? Well, I asked the doctor to come over to the house because I was not feeling too good and he confirmed it. Listen, okay? You can't be pregnant, okay? What, what do you mean by I can't be pregnant? Why in God's name are you pregnant? No, why in God's name will you be pregnant? Tell me! Ha! Listen. You are not pregnant. I am pregnant. You are not pregnant. Do you hear? I am pregnant. Wait. You are not pregnant. My love, wait. Wait, baby, wait. <laughs> My love, thank God you're home. I guess you were expecting something bad to happen to me, right? No. I was only worried because of the way you left the house. I called several times and you did not pick my calls. Why? That's because I was busy with something more meaningful. Something more meaningful than your wife? Look where? My love. I do not owe you any explanation. You owe me every explanation because you are my husband. I don't because I'm not answerable to you. Get out of my way, please. My love, I know, I, I want to know what this is all about. What is making you angry? You have to tell me because this is not the man I married. Listen, leave my way, please. I am not leaving to you. Tell Get me. out of my way. No, I'm not going. You have to tell me. Don't push me. I'm not pushing you, but I need, I need you to answer me. Wait, 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 Ability to manage crisis is what makes us better than animals. My love, tell me what the problem is. Let's manage it. I want to sleep. Baby, I won't take much of your time. I promise. But I said no. Please, baby. Please. Listen, if you continue to disturb me, I'll leave this room for you. Love, is there something that I said? Or maybe something that I did that is provoking you? Tell me. How will I know if you don't tell me? Tell me. Let me apologize. Let me apologize because I am tired. I am tired. I don't like fighting you. You know. I am tired. Let me apologize. You're the only person that I have. You're the only, aside my family, you're the only person that loves me. Please. Honey. Um, it's obvious you don't want me to sleep here. No, baby, wait. So I'll leave wait. the room for you. Don't, wait, don't baby. stop me. Baby, look at me now. 
Hey, baby, wait. My love, wait. My love, wait now. Baby, it's me. Baby, wait. Baby, baby. He didn't call me to come and have breakfast. Is there any woman letting me to do that? No, just that you've always done that. And I've decided not to do it again. Why? There's no way. Baby man of her beats want to talk while eating. Can I enjoy my food? Baby, honestly, if there is anything that I have done wrong, you can tell me. I'm your wife. If I've said or probably done anything that you don't, you can you can talk to me and I'll apologize. I I see you don't want me to enjoy my food. Alright, so. No, no, my love. I'm sorry. My love, I am sorry, please. Just eat. Please. I am sorry. Listen. Like I'm doing everything possible to maintain some level of civility in this. Do not push me. My love. What is it? Eh? Why can't you just spare me a moment of peace in my house? What's all this? My love, I want to talk to you. Talk to me about what? Please, let me... Ple please! Please, baby. Please! please, please. Ha! Oh, fine. The girls will be coming to visit today. I, I don't want you to be angry. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... to... Wait. You want to bring your friends to come and monitor what is happening in our house? No. So why are they coming? Honey, you know I'm not that kind of person. Why are they coming? It's been a long time since we last saw each other. We, they, they want to see me. How is it my business? Huh? Baby, I'm doing No, how is it my business? Why do you want them here? I didn't want to bring this dozen. Ah, wait, 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 shift. Yes. Hey! Shift. Baby, Please. wait now. Oh. What's the problem? What's going on? They have a nice place here. Oh. Yes. They can't compare with the chief's house. Not at all. The chief lives in a castle. This is just yeah. something small. Hey! Hi, mother! Hi. Hi. You're fine. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon sir. Good afternoon. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Angels in my house. <laughs> <laughs> you look very beautiful. Thank you, ma. I must say marriage is looking good. Oh, yes. Oh. That's what you get when you are married to a good man. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> what do I offer you girls? Nothing for now, sir. Are you serious? Yes. Are you fine. sure? Yes, yeah. they're fine. Okay, yeah, in that case, I have to leave you girls, okay? okay. Um, I have something to attend to. Okay. Babe? Yes, baby. You have fun. I will. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to do that again. <laughs> So sweet. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm so 
it's okay. not at all. <laughs> Girls, you guys look great. My you look really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, tell me. What has been happening? Mm. Ma, a lot has happened in your absence. <laughs> My love, we have all day. Mm. Okay, Ma. I found love. Ooh. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, Ma. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Does the guy love you? Are yes. you sure he loves you? I'm very sure he loves me. Oh. I am so happy for you. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> what about you guys? Hmm? Why are you looking around you? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I don't know about Njideka, but I know I'll find love very soon. Mm. Mom, you as if I don't have suit or so. I have a lot of them. Mm. Well, they're not serious. <sighs> they're very corny, so me, I don't know if they're serious or not. <laughs> That does not mean you should put a pause to your life. I mean, you're not going to stay with my dad forever. Yeah. It's not like he's going to push you guys out of his house, but it's only right that you move in with your husbands. That's true. That's, That's true, true, ma. You're not going to stay in his house forever. <laughs> Especially now that you are gone. Very soon, you will get married and leave us all. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Yes, ma'am. I can't wait to get married. I want to be enjoying like you. See the way your husband was just kissing you and caressing you. <laughs> what you wish for. <laughs> you didn't just say that to me. I said it. And you must do it. Are you for real? You are asking me to, to have an abortion. Yes. And you are going to do it. I will never do it. What did you say? I said I will never do it. You will do it. I will not do it. Mad. Let me even ask you, what exactly are you scared of? Because honestly, it's unheard of that a husband will ask the wife to move, remove her baby. Who does that? What are you scared of? Oh. You, you're scared I might give birth to crippled children. I'm glad, you know. Yes. So you have to remove the pregnancy. Do you understand? First of all, let me correct you. It doesn't work that way. Secondly, I would do no such thing. I need to swallow it right now! America, it's not rubbish, so there is no need to swallow it. I beg your pardon. It's a rubbish of the highest order. What are you thinking? A married man! Oh, do you have a child somewhere else? I don't know. Listen, bro. You don't even have a child elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And you're advising your own wife, a married wife, a legal wife, to abort her own pregnancy. Listen. No. Are you see now? And make her relax, you shouting. The pregnancy is mine. The wife is mine. And I am the man here. I am telling you what I want. I want her to get rid of the pregnancy and that is fine. No, 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 no. This, 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 this is just, be, it's, be, it's beyond me. Wait, are you sure you love this girl like you said? Or you're just one end of a troublemaker? Okay, okay, listen, Emeka. Listen again. I did not come here for your cross-examination. All right? I have stated the reason for this meeting. Take it or leave it. But my decision is final. Uko, no. Get into the car, else I'll leave you again. No, we will talk about this. We will talk about this because I need to ask you, do you have a child somewhere hey, before? Maker, why you they drink Panadol for my headache? Are you my wife's elder brother? Who are you? Because I don't understand what is going on with you. A married man for that matter. You are married. You married legally. Your wife got pregnant and you said she's going to abort it. Bros, you're shouting. No, no, I will shout because I don't know what has come over you. You're shouting. No, no, let somebody come and help me talk about this matter. Get into the car, I'm leaving you. Oh, you... Will... Wait, you brought me here for this party matter and now you're leaving me here. I am leaving you. I have left you already. Oh, go! Are you leaving me here? I have left you already, bro. Have you removed? That nonsense in your room.
He told you I'm not aborting my child. And I knew it. I guess you thought I was joking when I said that, right? Maybe. Huh? May what? Are you out of your mind? How dare you talk back at me? Have you lost your senses? Are you, are you going crazy? I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to sound disrespectful. Did you, ah! did, did you want to ah! No. Oh, God, oh, God. Huh? Leave me alone. Since you don't want to remove it in the normal way, I will do it my way. Oh God. I will hit you till this, baby. What's, what's, what's going on here? Hey, look. You're here. The question is, what is going on here? That's how we play. We actually play. It's, it's not true. It's, it's not true. Hey. Don't mind. Listen, listen. Do you think you are you're talking to a fool? What were you doing with my sister? Okay, Enoch, in, in calm down, okay? We, we can't talk this over, okay? Let's go to a corner there and talk man to man. Listen, this is between me. I don't want to go to anywhere with you. I need all the explanation here and now. You better start talking because you are next to prison. Ah, no, no, no. Hello, you weak. Relax now. I mean, it hasn't got into that. We can, we can, we can discuss it. Babe, talk, talk to him. Tell me okay. what, 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 joking, what is going on here? I told him that I am pregnant. And then he changed. He became a beast. He asked me to remove my baby. And, and if I don't remove my baby, he's going, he's going to hit me till I, I, I lose my baby. What? Beastful beast. I said no. Don't touch me. I said no. I refused. Because I've heard him complain several times how dad is a stingy man and has refused to, to, to help him define his life. Oh, I was just. Ugo uh, Chinyerezi. Uh, if this is true, you have failed yourself. Because I was actually here to present a check of. 300 million naira given to you by my father! 300 million 300 million naira. Don't give him. Ha! My in-law. You sent for me. Oh, yes. Sit down. I think uh, Ugo Chinyere is worried to be a son in law in this family. How do you mean that? Like this. This is what I mean 300 million naira. Dad, 300 million naira. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Ugo Chinyereze will be happy to receive this, Dad. I know. <laughs> Tell him more will come. Hmm? And uh, if he's free and he wants to join the family business, it's okay with me. Dad, Ugo Chinyereze is a business oriented fellow. He may not want to join the family business with this amount of money mm. available for him for business. Come on, Dad. <laughs> well, it's his life. Okay? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's his life. Let him decide what works for him. Okay? Tell him I've accepted him. And come this August, during the New Year Festival, I will present the almighty Aqualatar ring. Hmm? To Kwe. And the entrance of that ring is going to open more doors for them. Thank you so much, Dad. Ugo Chinyerize needs to see this. Ah. Yes, Dad. <laughs> I have to go to his house to present this check to him. Can do. 
that I beg to take my leave. Okay, okay, okay. okay <laughs> thank okay, you so okay. much, man. <laughs> yeah, thank it's you so right, much. It's all right, it's all right. My guest, Tony. Yeah, yeah. Now listen, Please. this is the check. My check. Certified by Chief Olinando Ukomado, Jopata Onube of Idu. That's my father-in-law. He wrote the check for now me. Now listen to me. You have failed yourself. And I am completely disappointed in you. Sorry, listen. Hey! Hey! Wait, where is the check? Honey, he told you to. He told the check here. He told the check. Three hundred million. Wait, wait. Yeah. <clears throat> Come and check it. Yeah. Come to the location I just forwarded to you. Yes, okay. They said they want to arrest me. You, you want them to arrest me? Hey, you are under arrest. Mm -hmm. It's my wife. No. Let me move. Let's move. Let's move. Move. Let's move. 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 Let's go. Let's move. move. If you don't move, I take your leg. Move. Sorry, move. Move. My lord. Babe. Come on, move. Babe. Move. Babe. Go. Move. 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 Um, Ubwe, forget about that guy. Okay? People do not love for any reason. So just cheer up. <laughs> <laughs>